Hi everybody, bonjour tout le monde. J'espère que vos tucs sont bien attachés for this uh, spring 2015 series of uh, tunes to learn for Shims uh, School of Irish Music in Montreal box classes. I say that because it's right now it's minus 29 outside the window. Don't worry everybody, it's fake fur. Uh, we're going to be learning three jigs called John McKenna's jigs. That's that what they called. That's what they were called by Patrick Street, Jackie Daly, and Kevin Burke, who recorded these. Uh, they come from old 78s of the uh, Irish flute player who settled in the States, John McKenna. And uh, listen to um, Jackie and Kevin playing these on the YouTube clip, which you can find by searching for their names. Uh, and also, uh, if you want, you can purchase the track on iTunes, I'm pretty sure. It's on the second album, Patrick Street number 2. So familiarize yourself with the tunes by listening to Jackie and Kevin. And I'll give you a very simple breakdown of each one. Let's start with number one, John McKenna's jig, number one. <laughs> position for that. I like to move it around so I have more freedom for the grace notes. You could play. Next passage. comes again. It's a bit tricky and unusual, so you get used to it. So that's the uh, whole first part. Uh, when uh, I'm going back into the first part, Jackie Daly tends to um, play three repeat of these. So. so finishing the uh, last bar with uh, two E's and then there's the first E proper of the tune. And you can use finger swapping there if you want. Jackie actually plays it very staccato on the record, so he's probably just tapping with the one finger. So, first part and again, slowly. second part we've just finished. Use a nice leading note of E there to play the first note proper which is a high F sharp.
use lots of grace notes in the second part to keep the tune zipping along. And I'm using the outer row of C sharp here. You could play it on the row. Next phrase. Use the outro C sharp if you want it. I don't think I like it. Next phrase. If you wanted to use the outer row F sharp, I think you'd only use one uh, where we won't need the D chord. So you won't, you will play. That won't be a D chord, that'll be an A chord. So here's the whole second part slowly. to the first part, you can use those three A's. So there we are, John McKenna's number, jig number one. We'll look at number two in another clip.